Find the difference quotient f of x plus h minus f of x all divided by h for the function f of x equals 7 divided by x plus 8. So we'll start with the first part of the difference quotient, f of x plus h. And remember, when you're using function notation, whatever's in the parentheses here, that's our input. So in our function here, we're going to substitute in place of x, we'll substitute x plus h. So I'm going to keep that in orange. So f of x plus h, as we substitute that into our function, gives us 7 divided by x plus h plus 8. Again, I substituted in place of x the quantity x plus h. Then we need to subtract f of x. So I'll put that in green. So we're subtracting f of x, which is just the original function, 7 divided by x plus 8. And this entire quantity is divided by h. This is what we call a complex fraction. It's a fraction within a fraction. So we need to deal with the numerator first. So by numerator, I mean this entire quantity here, the orange minus the green. So I need to get a common denominator, a least common denominator in this case. And our least common denominator between the orange fraction and the green fraction is going to be the denominator of the orange, which is the quantity x plus h plus 8, times the denominator of the green, which is x plus 8. So when I go to the orange, I'm going to have to multiply the orange by x plus 8 in the numerator and x plus 8 in the denominator so that I can get that common denominator. And then the green will have to get multiplied by x plus h plus 8 in the numerator as well as the denominator to obtain the LCD. And remember, as we're, we're multiplying the numerator and the denominator, what we're really multiplying by is 1. So when I look at this quantity here, what I'm multiplying by, that's really just equivalent to 1. So it doesn't change the value of our, our expression. So for the orange, the numerator will be 7 times x plus h, excuse me, x plus 8, and that'll all be divided by the common denominator, x plus 8 times x plus h plus 8 minus the green, when I multiply, the numerator will be 7 times x plus h plus 8, all divided by the common denominator, x plus 8 times x plus h plus 8. And then that entire thing is divided by h, which looks like it's a mess. But when you really take a look at what we have here in the numerator, we have two fractions, and they have the same denominator. So we have our common denominator. Sometimes you might even skip this step, writing this step, and we can go ahead and subtract our numerators. So I'm going to go ahead and write that as one big fraction. So 7 times the quantity x plus 8 minus 7 times the quantity x plus h plus 8. That will all be divided by the common denominator. And then this quantity will be divided by h. So now my numerator, I'll even put it an extra parenthesis just so you can see this is my big numerator that I need to simplify. And I'll simplify by distributing. So I need to distribute the positive 7 as well as the negative 7. And you want to make sure you're careful with your sign here. So we will have 7x plus 56 minus 7x minus 7h minus 56. That's all divided by the common denominator, x plus 8 times x plus h plus 8. So this is my numerator, and then this entire quantity is divided still by h. So we start to simplify 7x minus 7x, 56 minus 56. So we're left on top with a negative 7h. So negative 7h, still divided by that common denominator, x plus 8 times x plus h plus 8. And that's all divided by h. 
But remembering, if we're dividing by h, really that's h divided by 1, dividing by h will be the same as multiplying by the reciprocal 1 over h. So I'll rewrite this division problem as a multiplication problem, multiplying by the reciprocal. So right here, instead of dividing by h, I'm going to multiply by 1 over h. And in doing so, then, you can see that the h in the numerator will divide out with this h in the denominator. And we'll end up with negative 7 divided by x plus 8 times x plus h plus 8. And this is our simplified result.